deploying tree domain in existing Windows Server 2012 R2 at Tree Directory Forest. A domain tree is a made of several domains that share a common schema and configuration. Domains in a tree are also linked together by trust relationship. Windows Server 2012 R2 automatically create trust relationship between root domain and a tree domain. This trust is transitive and two-way. That means if domain A trust domain B, then domain B also trust domain A. You can also add a child domain to your tree domain as well. It will become a child of your tree domain. So if you are planning for deploying a tree domain in your existing forest, you have to prepare your current network for the new tree domain. So before you begin with the new TC configuration, you need to perform certain tasks like creating a new site in your Active Directory that will represent the physical structure of your network. In my example, our main office in India and new one is in UK. Based on that information, you would have to create a new site for the UK office. In addition to a new site, you will also need to create a new subnet for your new site. So in this lab for this demonstration, I have a one domain controller name srdfndc01.mylab.local and the IP address is 192.168.49.5. It is our pan domains domain controller. It is holding all FSMO roles and we have Active Directory and DNS server installed and configured on that server. On other end, we have another Windows Server 2012 R2 computer and on that we are planning to deploy our tree domain. The name of that server is lon-dc01 and the IP address is 192.168.51.3 and we want to install Active Directory and DNS with global catalog for our tree domain name demolab.local and we are planning to deploy this server in a UK site and the subnet associated with this site is 192.168.51.0. So let's start the deployment. Let's come back to our Windows Server 2012 R2. This is our SRDI DC01 on that server. On our server manager console, let's click on Tools and open Active Directory Site and Services because we want to create site and subnet. Expand Sites. Right click on it and select New Site. Now specify the name UK. For our example, and let's select default IP site link and let's click on OK. An information screen pops up telling us that we need to add a subnet to the site we just created. Let's click on OK. And let's create subnet as well. So right click on a subnet and select new subnet. 182.168.51.0 slash 24 subnet for our UK site. Let's click on OK. And that's it. Now let's uh, rename default for site name. Right click on it and select rename. Let's specify with the name India and let's create an associated subnet for our India site as well. 192.168.49.0 slash 24 and let's select India. Let's click on OK. So now we have a two subnet for our two site name India and UK. So now we are ready to start deployment. Let's going back to our another Windows Server 2012 R2 computer. And on that computer, first of all, let's check our network connection properties. Select properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4 and click on properties. Here you can see our sign of static IP 192.168.51.3 and this is the IP of our gateway that is 192.168.51.1. Here we have to specify the DNS address of our India site's domain controller because that is the our root domain's domain controller. Let's click on OK. Let's click on close and let's click on close this console as well. Now let's check connectivity between uh, these two. Let's check connectivity between these two Windows Server 2012 R2 machine. 49.5. Okay, so as you can see, we are receiving a replay from our another Windows Server 2012 R2 computer. Let's check NS lookup as well. Okay, so as you can see, our DNS server is also responding. Let's type exit. Let's type exit. Let's open server manager. On a server manager dashboard, let's click on add rules and features. Click on next on before you begin page. Select role base or feature based installation on select installation type page and then click on next. Select destination server and that is LON-TC01 in our case. Let's click on next. 
we have to select Active Directory Domain Services. The Add Features that are required for Active Directory Domain Service dialog box pops up. Select Add Features and then click on Next. Click on Next. Click on Next again. And click on Install to start the installation process. Okay, so Active Directory Domain Service is uh, installed successfully on this server. Let's promote this server to a domain controller. Select Add a new domain to existing forest. And this time we have to select three domain. Now here we have to specify the name of our forest and that is mylab.local. Let's specify the new domain name. It will be demo lab dot local for this demonstration. Now here we have to supply the credential of our enterprise admin groups member. Let's specify the credential of our administrator administrator at mylab.local and the password. Let's click on OK. Let's click on Next. After verifying the credential, you will see another screen for domain controller options. On this screen, as you can see, the domain functional level is by default selected and that is Windows Server 2012 R2. Now here, we want to install DNS server service role as well and that's why this box is also selected and we want to configure this server as a global catalog server as well and that's why and I'm going to select this box as well. Now based on the IP address of our computer, the site name is pre-selected and that is UK. Now we just have to specify the directory service restore more password and then Click on next. Click on next on DNS options. It is going to verify the NetBias domain name. Verify the NetBias domain name and then click on next. On the path page, verify the desired locations of uh, Active Directory database, log files, and sysfold folders. Change the location if required and then click on next. On the review options page, click on next. Now, Active Directory domain service configuration wizard will perform prerequisites check before the installation can continue. Once the all prerequisites check completed successfully, click on install to start the installation process. The server will restart automatically once the configuration is completed. The server is now a domain controller for a newly deployed tree domain. So after restart, let's log into our server using the credential of our administrator. Once you log into your server, let's open the server manager console and on a server manager console, let's click on tools and select active directory users and computers. Now here, as you can see, our domain name is demolab.local and under domain controllers, this is our domain controller name alloan-tc01. Let's close this console. Now let's click on tools, select active directory site and services, expand sites, Expand UK site, expand servers, and under servers, we can see we have our domain controller name alloyan-dc01. Right click on NTDS setting, select all task, select check for application topology, click on OK, and let's manually refresh. Right click on automatically generated link, and select replicate now. Click on OK, and let's click on tools. Select Active Directory Domain in Trust. Now on the screen, select our domain and that is demolab.local. Right click on it and select properties. Click on Trust tab. Now here we can see we have a trust relationship with mylab.local domain and the trust type is tree root and it is transitive as well. So from this we can confirm that we have successfully deployed Tree domain in existing Windows Server 2012 R2 Active Directory Forest. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.